Welcome back to Ivy's Kitchen. It is October, which is Filipino Heritage Month. So for Filipino Heritage Month, I wanted to make my favorite Filipino dish, which is called sinigang. And what that is, it's a spicy and sour soup that's very comforting. I mean, if I had only one meal to eat every day for the rest of my life, this would be it. So if you're interested in seeing my version of sinigang, keep on watching. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Okay, so for sinigang, a lot of families that do make this dish use the tamarind soup mix. You can use this or you can use fresh tamarind. Make sure though that the fresh tamarind that you buy is green. Um, I can't find fresh tamarind here in the States, so I either use this or I will use tamarind pulp, which you can find in your Asian grocery store. This uh, tamarind soup mix is also available in certain uh, grocery stores in America if you don't have an Asian store near you. If not, go ahead and order from Amazon. Pour water over your tamarind pulp and let it steep for about an hour or more. So we're gonna go ahead and add some oil to the pot. Just enough to brown our pork ribs. Okay, so we wanna just uh, brown the ribs on both sides. We're not gonna cook the ribs all the way frying, okay? We're just browning it for color. The step is optional, but um, you can just go ahead and just boil it without even searing it if you want to. So as soon as you see some brown bits forming on your ribs, you want to go ahead and turn the ribs over so it can brown on the other side. And as soon as you turn the ribs over, you want to go ahead and cover the ribs with water. And you just want enough water to cover all of the ribs. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Okay, so the scum that I was telling you about are these nasty little, I don't know, film. So I like to just take a little strain, strainer and just strain it off this way. It's easier. Just do it that way. So now that we brought this up to a boil, we are going to reduce this all the way down to simmer. And we're going to add our vegetables, which are the onions and tomatoes. And we're just going to go ahead and cook this on simmer for an hour. And then I'm going to add other ingredients to it as well. But if total cooking time for this will be two hours. And that's it. After an hour of simmering, I like to add my banana peppers and I let it simmer for another 30 minutes before I start adding my green beans and the fish sauce. Now we are going to separate the pulp from the liquid. So we're going to use a strainer as shown and then we're going to use a spoon to squeeze out the rest of the juice. We are then going to add a few tablespoons of this juice to our soup. And then near the end of cooking, I turn off the heat and I like to add my bok choy. And that's how simple it is to make my sinigang. Now it's time to taste this. What I'm gonna do is, let me just taste the broth first before I put it on the rice. <laughs> yes! It's sour. It's definitely sour and it's a little bit mild. I wish I added more chili peppers to it, but that's okay. Now what I like to do is I like to pour the sauce over my rice, just like that. Okay, then I'm going to take vegetable, probably the meat, put it on top. Let's go ahead and try this. 
the meat is bone tender. It just falls off the bone. Take that bok choy. Mmm. 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 Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. One more bite. One more bite. Let's go. Mmm. It's so good. Thank you for watching Ivy's Kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Until next time, happy cooking!